out, proud, and getting hitched at sea. Nine gay and transgender couples preparing to get married in front of 800 witnesses on a cruise ship bound for Japan. They've come from all over China, where tolerance for gay rights is growing, but same-sex marriage is still illegal. The ceremony isn't legally binding, but it's a progressive sign in a country that still classified homosexuality as a mental disorder at the start of the century. I'm Reuters in Italy at the docks in Shanghai, where the 800 passengers are setting sail. The cruise is part of the city's annual Gay Pride Week, which is underway right now. And this year, there is a particular spirit of hope among the LGBT community here. They're feeling extra upbeat after the ruling last month in Taiwan that has paved the way for gay marriage. One person is particularly excited: Arias Liu, who used to be a woman. Despite coming out almost 20 years ago, his parents only just accepted his sexuality last year. I'm very optimistic. If you ask me if China will legalize gay marriage five years ago, I'd tell you maybe in 30 years. But with the recent ruling in Taiwan and the campaigns and movements we've done in the past couple of years to raise awareness, I think in 10 years we'll see it happen. But tolerance for gay rights in China still has its limits. While a number of big cities now feature growing gay scenes, many LGBT men and women still face family pressure to marry the opposite sex and have children. And the government swings between ignoring the community and cracking down. Last month, police in the northern city of Xi'an briefly detained nine gay activists after they tried to organize a conference, saying the city did not welcome gay people. But for the 800 people on this cruise, the coming days will be about nothing but love.